The history of the cocoa plant goes back thousands of years. The cocoa tree originated in the Amazon basin and later spread to Central America including Mexico. Cocoa was first used as a bitter beverage and later developed into a sugary drink. In the 1800s, European colonial rulers introduced cocoa to their colonies and as a result, it expanded into a commercial crop in Africa and Asia. Cocoa cultivation was first introduced to Ceylon in 1819. The first stock of seeds was planted in Nalanda Matali. Funded by the European Union. Implemented by Oxfam, Save the Children and Leeds. The global cocoa market attained a value of nearly 11 billion US dollars in 2020. The cocoa market is further expected to grow at a compound annual growth rate of 3.4% between 2021 and 2026 to attain a value of 13.52 billion US dollars. The estimated domestic requirement is about 7,500 to 8,000 metric tons per annum but estimated domestic production laid around 1,000 metric tons. Under the Enhancing Gender Inclusive Socio-Economic Project funded by European Union, we have working with the Cocoa Value Chain where we ensured the gender mainstreaming into the Cocoa Value Chain and enhancing the women economic empowerment into the all the components of the projects. Increase farmer knowledge and plantation management and processing. Development of infrastructure facilities for enhancing the quality of the dried beans. Enhance marketing compliance of the cocoa bean quills and establish sustainable marketing linkage. With the help of Oxfam, we have developed a lot of farmer organizations. Now we have come together, the farmers. We have created a link between farmers and the department. And also we have conveyed the message of extension actually. Now we have given the technology regarding how to maintain their fields and then how to process their cocoa because the main gap the farmers had was they did not know how to process their crop in a proper manner so with the help of Oxfam we have we are able to develop or we are able to construct two processing centers with the help of that now the farmers know the actual methodology of cocoa processing now that the farmers are also smart, so we have to convert from our conventional extension work to the modern agricultural technique. So that way, the Oxfam has uh, provided us the tablet computers to our extension offices. Now with the help of that tablet computers, our extension offices are doing smart agriculture. They are using the social networks to convey their extension methodology to the doorstep of the farmers. One of the key outcomes of the project was establishing 27 cocoa producers societies and registering them in the Department of Export Agriculture. A total of 907 cocoa farmers in this area have been benefited from this project which includes 538 males and 369 females.
हलिंग अभी मैं कोको वगाव तानी तानी इन तमाई करे इट पर से मैं यूरोपा संगीताने आधार है तो ऑक्सफेम आए तो ने इन दोनों देनु मत देख कर कांडा यंग गता हो ना कांडा यंग वैसे इंग अभी देंग कोको वगाव भी कप्पा दूँ ये हम देख में कांडा यंग वैसे इंग करने कोटा अपे यारे आहा कटे याना मुदला अभी टे इत्र कर गाने पुलवांग होना सीएलओ में वैध काटा है तो अभी कांतावंग वैसे इंग समूह यक वैसे इंग में दे कर गाने पुलवांग under the project, several different trainings were done for group strengthening, such as bookkeeping, mobilization, leadership, and business planning. Several strategic interventions were made under the EGST project. Sri Lanka has good soil and climatic conditions for cocoa, especially in Monragala district. Initially, we have conducted a basic value chain study to understand the weak points of this value chain, and we have identified that. A low productivity at farmer level, poor knowledge among farmers, uh, low quality with their uh, product and less access to market were the key challenges. Kusi apna hai na department tu oxfam aaye thi nee sin sabai karwa ke na be apna goi mahatu mahatmiinge goi bhi mila ta vihila goi bhi resist re thula koko ka pasa sangrak sinee sita. कोकोआ सीटुवी में ये वाके में कप्पा दुआ ये वाके में कोकोआ नेली में ये वाके में कोकोआ फ्लेमिटी ऐसे बीएली में याने कार्मुकार ना संधा कोकोआ गिनी निलागे नीम संधा आवश्य उपकार ना लबादी में पोहर लबादी में पोहर ये दी में ये वाके पाली बोध कर रोग संधा अनुलब ना क्रिया मार्ग मनवाद याने में सेलु कार्मुकार ना सेस तरह तुले एक गोवी महत महत्वी निकांगे हिला लोकु दानुमा क्लबा दीला कोको में वैन कोटे कोको वा गोवी इंट इशार आश्चर्य ना क्लबा गनी मिसांदा लोकु आत्मा बीटे सारु मुदला क्लबा गनी मिसांदा आवश्य पियो रे अर्गेनिटीन। In providing technical know-how for producers, the following were done: preparation of training materials such as training manuals, farmer record books and flip charts, conducting training on principles of कोको वा फार्मिंग conducting training on pruning and shade management conducting training on fertilizer application and disease management conducting training on harvesting and post harvesting techniques conducting training on climate resilient land management practices under the egst project Farmers Field School was introduced to conduct technical trainings and a comprehensive training manual was introduced for this and published on website of the Department of Export Agriculture for the use of all extension practitioners. Vagakarwanta Dhanuma Labadi Mnusandha Api Visheshing Anuvayamane Kale Govi Sesha Paasal Kramiya E Atate Api Modiwala Hayak Yatate गोविंद न्यायात्मक सह प्रायोगिक दैनिक में लबादी में सिद्ध करने लगा। कोको वगावे मूल धर्म, कोको वगावे पहुँचे दी में पांच साल रक्षण काटे तो क्रोमी पाली बहुत पालने सह पशु आसन ताक्षण के ये ना ये मात्र का हाय अंतर तमाय आपी में वैद्यसर आने न्यायात्मक सह प्रायोगिक का आपी वगाकरों ने लबादी में सिद्ध करने अतरम अभी सांप्रदायिक वगैरह पर कोको वगैरह में व्यापूति आवट वासे आर्थिक बोग एक तरह सांदोन नला दी रहती हूँ में व्यापूति अत तमगे में में कोको वगैरह आर्थिक बोग एक तरह सांदोन नला दी मत देख का अपे गम में तो विशेष अध्याक सिद्ध होना खान तावा एक राष्ट्रीय में सामेती मट्ट में धनु वैदिवी में ऐवागे में आर्थिक इस्तरहट अरंजन हकियावक लबादी में दैनु में हुआ मारुवी में ये आदि बहुत देवा सिद्ध होना तेरो वेलंद पलक विशेष वेलंद पलक क्या तिविला देनो आपी कोको आगा केरे में निकाम में टा में शाबर फीलिंग असन गन आकारित है नमूत में ऑप्शन आए थे ने यूरोप का संगीताने संबंध भी ला आपे कोको आगा आगे ने उनका दैनवत टीम आपे लबाला दुन्ना ये दैनवत टीम तुलिंग आपे नियमित में कोको आगा आगे आसन नज गाना वागा वा किधी है टे पीली वेल के टे कह रहे नहीं आना माँ इटा मतलब आपे पावले सामग्री है 
තාම දානේ ජීවත් වෙන ආකාරය සමාජයට ගිහිල්ලා අපි කොහොමද හැසිරෙන්නේ ඒ සීලුම විස්තර අපිට මේ ව්‍යාපෘතිය තීලින් ලැබිලා තියෙන්නේ FM ආයතනය හරහා කොකෝවා සමතිය වැඩසටහන අපේ ගමට ආවගෙන් පස්සේ ඇත්තටම අපේ ගමේ කාන්තාවන්ට ලොකු හයියක් වුණා ඉතින් ඇත්තටම අපිට ලොකු සතුටක් වුණා කාන්තාවන් විදිහට මුළු ගැන්නිලා ඉන්නේ නැතුව ගම තුල හොඳ නායකත්වයක් අරන් වැඩ කරන්න ලැබුණෙත් මේ අපේ ආයතනය හරහා අපි ඉස්සර තනි තනියෙන් සුළු අපේ දෙපාර්තමේන්තුවෙන් කොකෝ කැලගෙනලා අපි ඊට වෙලා කටයුතු කරන්න. නමුත් මේ සංවිධානයේ වීමෙන් උගත් දිනෙක්ගේ ආශාවක් උගත් දිනෙකට වුමනාවක් තියෙනවා. මේක මීට වැඩි සාර්ථකව කටයුතු කරගෙන යන සම්බන්ධ. ඉතින් ඒ නිසා මම හිතේ සමිති පහළවක් විස්සක් විතර මේ ප්‍රදේශයේ මම හිතේ කඳුර කෝල්ලේ තෝරාපච්ච කරගෙන ඉන්න. අපි ඇත්තටම කාන්තාවන් විදිහට අපි කරේ ගෙවල් වලට වෙලා තමන්ගේ දරු පැටව් හදාගෙන ගෙදර දොරේ රාජකාරී ටික කටයුතු ටික කරගෙන महत्या वेड उदेला इन अपे धर अंट अनागते मे कोकोवा वगाव तुड़ी यहाँ अनागते गुडनगा अवस्था वक्सलाइन අපි ඇත්තටම තේරුම් අරගෙන ඉන්නවා one of the most important objectives of the project was to provide increased access to market under this the project was able to achieve the following support dea to get accreditation for issuing gap certificates for cocoa provide gap for farmers and gmp for processing centers establish self processing units to produce high quality fermented cocoa beans at the household level under the project two cocoa processing centers one in madagama karamatia and other in badal kumura meghaya was built and handed over to the farmer societies they now manage These processing centers were equipped with all necessary equipment for the processing of cocoa to achieve its best quality and the staff of the centers were given the training and knowledge. As a result, the quality of the final output of cocoa has improved to the expected standards. introduction of sustainable marketing models to central processing centers save our partners and terminal 20 were brought as private sector partners to the project who now purchase cocoa direct from the growers and i've i've been purchasing a lot of chocolate so i really studied into the supply chain of chocolate and how it currently operates and i was quite disappointed and this is what really led me to uh, pursue uh, a new chocolate brand and introduce it to the sri lankan market so right now actually there's a major issue which consumers don't realize uh, the cocoa is just uh, plucked and sun dried washed and sun dried and provided to the chocolate manufacturers without much fermentation which is the key element that develops the chocolate profile of the cocoa with the oxfam program we ferment it for 7 days and make sure we have the best quality the grade a beans coming out so oxfam has really helped to uh, point out the process uh, train farmers train the community how to really bring out the best quality beans from sta starting from the cocoa pod with oxfam egst program not only have we been able to source the best quality cocoa beans compared to world standards but we have been able to pay the farmers a much higher price than the commodity prices for cocoa beans as a value chain specialist what i learned from this uh, project is that we our sri lankan cocoa beans has a unique market in the global markets we can target the niche market because we have a very good quality beans in sri lanka so Uh, the demand for cocoa increasing day by day in the global markets we cannot at a glance we cannot go for a mass production nevertheless we can make a unique brand for sri lankan cocoa as like ceylon tea as like any other products i would suggest government should think about bringing a geographical indication or any other unique uh, unique identity for sri lankan cocoa brand which will be a competitive advantage for our country to 
be in the global market.